Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mitsuko, so thank you so much for watching this video. So today I'm pretty excited to try the Vanish Concealer Brush from Hourglass. And essentially, I've been thinking about trying this one for a while because I've been using a sponge to blend out my concealer and to also set it for a long time. Now, I did try other brushes in the past, but the result is just not that great and I figured maybe with this one I'll have a better result so we'll see now the price tag on this one is pretty steep it's around $50 Canadian and then 39 USD glad I was able to get it during the Sephora sale so this is the packaging for it it's pretty standard for hourglass this is actually the vanish seamless finish concealer brush that's actually the full name so this is what the brush looks like you have the logo at the bottom here and um, I feel like it's a pretty standard brush size this is an angle brush and it's really soft actually now I'm hoping this is going to be soft also on my skin this brush has synthetic bristles and it works well with cream and liquid now I do plan on testing it out for my concealer essentially my t-zone wherever I highlight but I also want to see if it works well in this area of my face just to blend out my contour or my bronzer. I'm planning on using two concealers. So the first one is from LYS. This is the triple fix concealer. I have it in the shade DG3. The other one I have is from NARS. This is the soft My complete concealer and then I have it in the shade Praline. So I'm starting with the LYS and I like to layer my concealer. So this is going to be my base. On the Sephora website, it's suggested to just pat or blend the concealer for your desired look. So I'm going to start patting just to see. So whenever I use a sponge, I know that it will, you know, take a little bit of the product off. So I end up putting a lot more. So I want to see if using a brush will help me use a little bit less concealer. And I feel like so far it's working. It's pretty soft on my skin, which I like. And it's blending it pretty well, actually. Okay, the application is really nice, actually. I find that it's giving me a lot more coverage compared to the sponge and it fits perfectly in this area so which is good the brush is giving me a more precise application so this actually looks pretty good and i feel like this is enough technically i don't need to go in with a second shade but i want to see how this brush works with layering and also using different textures so i'm going to add a tiny bit of the nars concealer just to see how it goes I'm going to take another brush for that because i don't want to put too much i think this should be enough and i'll put that right there Okay, and I'm going to focus this shade just close to my inner corner, basically in this area. Definitely gonna go back in with the blush, just because I find that it's a little bit harsh right now, but blended really well. Okay, let's see how it goes. Whenever I'm blending out my nose bridge with a sponge, I found that it goes all over my nose, but with this, I'm having a better application this is great i don't even need to go in with a lot of the bronzer because i find that it's already giving my nose a nice shape i think for my forehead it's probably just easier to use a sponge just to soften the outer part so far so good so this is what my face looks like after i blended the concealer with the brush I really like this application. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. So I finished the rest of my face off camera and this is what it looks like. Now, do you see this highlight? So my final thoughts for this brush, I think it is amazing. If you're considering trying it, definitely go for it. If you haven't, put it on your try list, okay? If you're like me and you like using a sponge just to blend out your concealer, you will love this one because it is as soft as a sponge and trust me i've tried so many concealer brushes in the past and they've been so harsh in this area especially 
with this one you don't have to worry about that i like that it fits perfectly in this area also on my forehead and nose bridge and even on my chin it's just perfect for that when i was blending out the concealer on my nose bridge i didn't feel the need to add more bronzer in this area which initially i was planning on trying it out but i think it should work well perfectly i will give it a try next time and keep you posted so that's everything for today thank you so much for watching my video let me know what you think about this brush and if you haven't done it already give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i would truly appreciate it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time